joined here by Harry Tinknell from the Ford GT, um, Ford Chip Ganassi Team UK. Um, this is a huge year for Ford, isn't it? Um, is there a lot of pressure in terms of expectations on you as a team of drivers? Yeah, I mean, look, there's pressure every year with every program. Um, of course, we're coming here with fantastic history and 50 years since the, the 123 and 66 and you know, our comeback uh, into the World Endurance Championship, come back into, into the one. Of course, there's pressure, um, but, uh, you know, Everything has moved on a lot since then. Motor racing has moved on a lot, a lot since then, and we can't focus too much on the past. We just have to focus on what we can do now. Um, everything's been going well so far. We've been progressively getting stronger as the season's been going on. We're fourth at Silverstone, second at Spa. Um, yeah, of course we want to go one better here, but we know it's going to be incredibly tough. We've got you know, fantastic competition. Um, but uh, yeah, look, it's great to be here. It's great to know we've got a competitive car and a reliable car. We know how important that is, obviously, for the one. Um, and to be honest, I'm not really thinking too much uh, in terms of you know, getting nervous or worried. I'm just in, really here enjoying the moment and uh, trying to soak it all up. And I'm sure before the race on Saturday, it will be nerve-wracking. But uh, look, we want to come here and do a good job, and that's what we're here to do. Now you're, amazingly, the old hand amongst your teammates with Andy Prio and Marino Franchitti. What advice have you given them uh, going into the 24 hours? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been here the last two years, and you know, I, I, it's amazing that... I'm the only, team, the only uh, driver within Ford to, uh, you know, Ford's lineup to have won the Mon because you know we've got some incredible drivers. Um, but I guess for me, I mean, when we won in 2014, we won because of reliability, looking after the car, and mechanical uh, sympathy. And so mainly that, you know, when we're talking about the meetings, how we're going to, you know, um, go about the race, our strategy. I'm always the one pushing the mechanical sympathy, you know, get into the end. There's so, such an importance in that. And if you look at you know, the GT race last year, I think it was only the Corvette that really stayed out of trouble. So if you had a clear race, you were second. And I think, of course, we're here to win. But if we had a second on our first Le Mans back, you know, it took the, um, the, the guys in the 60s, you know, two or three years before they were really sort of you know, competitive to win so if we could be on the podium first first race back that would be great and I think we're going to get there by mechanical sympathy rather than pushing like hell for 24 hours and using all the curbs so that's the main bit of advice I'd say I pass on to, to those guys. Now 2016 has arguably the strongest LMGT Pro uh, field that there's been is there one uh, competitor that you're sort of looking out for is it right across the board? I think it's right across the board in terms of uh, you know our competitors this year, but for sure we know the least about Corvette and uh, the American Porsches, and they look very strong on the test day. You know the Porsches were right up there, um, certainly around lunchtime, and Corvette ended with the the quickest time. So, like I say, we know the least about them um, and more about Ferrari and Aston. I think, um, but. It's, you know, all five are going to be very, very strong. Um, it's going to be really, really interesting. And you know, I'm new into GT racing, the whole balance performance game. This is all new to me, and I'm just about getting my head around it now. But I'm sure there's 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 a few cars to be played yet, shall we say, between all the manufacturers. And it's going to be very interesting to see come come uh, the race who you know who really has 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 the car to win. But uh, um, I would say probably Corvette we're really looking at um, and of course Ferrari have been very dominant the first two rounds of, of the WEC um, so those two I'd say are our main competitors but I really wouldn't write anyone off. Okay, we wish the whole team the very best of luck. Cheers.